Hey guys, Western Mine Detective here coming at you with another mine exploring video. So on today's episode, we're in the Mojave Desert and uh, I'm out here solo. All I have for company is the trusty Jeep. But uh, we're heading up this mine road, uh, up to this mine site. It's pretty much straight ahead of us in those mountains. And uh, I'm just hoping that this uh, road isn't too washed after the recent storms especially a uh, tropical storm Hillary. But uh, there were actually some uh, remnants of pavement a little bit back. So probably back in like the 1950s, this thing used to be paved. But uh, right now it's just pretty much all a dirt road. But uh, hopefully I don't have to hike up to the mine, but if I do, hopefully it's not too far. I got the Jeep, so should make it up pretty much all the way to the main mine site but uh yeah let's see how uh, far we could get up there all right here's the first pretty decent uh drop into a wash it's not too bad but it's probably about maybe like a two foot drop so hopefully i could uh get some footage going down that Alright guys, fast forward about 20 minutes and uh, we're pretty much to the base of the mountain and uh, surprisingly the road wasn't even too bad. Uh, hopefully I don't jinx it and it gets terrible up here but uh, I don't really see that happening. Uh, yeah, probably going to be to the mine side in about probably 20 maybe 30 minutes uh, depending on trail conditions whether I have to walk or not but uh, yeah the mine is pretty much like right up there all right road got a little bit rougher but hell yeah I made it to the miners cabin Look at that, that is just beautiful. You can park pretty much right here in front of it. Hell yeah. Awesome stuff. I'm gonna definitely get some pictures of my Jeep in front of this thing and then uh, yeah, let's go explore. All right guys, made it up to this cabin in one piece. And just look at the beautiful view. Got this pretty cool uh, windmill right here. And they got arrows pointing the direction of the claims and such. But yeah, let's go take a look at these. Uh, so this is the main cabin and then this one right over here kind of looks like just a little outbuilding structure. Yeah, it's in pretty decent condition. Probably because of the uh, remote nature of it. Got some cool little knickknacks down here. Looks like this is one of the cooler ones. Cool porcelain insulator. Looks like they got a stack of firewood and such right here. Looks like a gear off of some sort of vehicle. Oh wow, even a pile of bones right here. Huh. Wonder what that would have been. Maybe a maybe a mountain goat. That old lamp right here. Huh. 
All right, and then let's head into this cabin, see what there is in here. Look at that old style doorknob. That thing's probably dates to the 1940s or something. Wow, there's a lot of cool stuff left in here. Let's close the door. Huh, even got a little guitar right here. Table, logbook. Definitely gonna write my name in there. And lots of stuff still in here. Got a wood burning stove. Looks like a cow skull. Huh, that's a cool piece of. Then I got this bighorn sheep, desert bighorn sheep. Wow, it's a big old horn. And it's not all rotted like some of the ones that you see out here. That thing is pretty fresh. Get a hatchet for cutting the wood up. And let's see what brand this one is. So it says Vogel, Vogelzing, boxwood stove, model, blah, blah, blah. It has US patent numbers. Huh. It's a really cool and intact uh, wood stove. There's even a picture of the mine. Hopefully we could get in there. Barrel cactus. Looks like just some uh, memorial pictures. Oh, Jeep Club. Cool. That looks like a claim paper. Yeah, location of quartz claim. Another memorial. And another memorial. That's a cool little corner. And then right here we got a bed, mirror, And I got a whole bunch of artifacts and knickknacks, all sorts of stuff here. American flag. Some bottles. Old cans. Spark plugs, all sorts of stuff here. And more artifacts here. We got a map. Old mule shoe right here. Yeah, you usually don't see too many cabins with this much stuff still inside of them. So you could definitely tell that this is a, a group effort that quite a few people have uh, been kind enough to keep this place nice like this. Oh, that's cool. Clock still ticking. Wow. Yeah, this place is pretty crazy. Pretty cool. Don't see too many like this. Got an old uh, milk can right here. Cool little quail picture. And just a bunch of supplies up in here. Wow, this pretty much all this stuff looks modern and has been brought here by whoever keeps this place nice. And there's an access to the attic. I'm not gonna go up there. But yeah, pretty awesome stuff. Now we will go and uh, check out that other structure. Alright, so here's a look at the other structure. You can see 
that they constructed this one of uh, corrugated metal. And it looks like some wood on this left hand side. Unique looking place. All right, let's see what's in here. Got a couple of chairs, another wood burning stove, oh, and even a shower. Two and a half gallon fill shower. Oh, so you just fill that with water and you got yourself a shower. I don't know if I'd ever do that, but nice. And then uh, I think right now I'm going to go check out. Looks like there's a mine. Come on, door. There we go. Looks like there's a mine on the backside of these structures. So let's take a quick look. Hopefully I don't need my uh, light or anything to look down, but. We'll see if there's any ladder or anything. Looks like it's a straight vertical shaft. Right here on the other side of this wash. Oh yeah, that thing looks pretty much all collapsed. I don't know if that would have been a shaft or not because as you can see, it's very skinny from here to here. It's about only a foot and a half. Definitely does look like a collar off of a mine though. Hmm. All right, well, uh, I'll probably go a little bit down the, from the road I seen there was a mine like right in this general area. So we'll go check that out and then uh, check out the other mines in the vicinity. All right, so right here, this is a pretty good sign. Looks like this is a claim marker. You got this big old stack of rocks and there would have been a sign right here on this wooden post. So yeah, this is definitely one of the corners of the claim. And then right next to it, got the road literally right over there. We got this shaft and Looks like an it right next to it. But unfortunately, this uh, shaft looks like it's not accessible. Let's try to see down there. Yeah, there's definitely a ladder, but that looks collapsed within about 15 feet down. So it didn't really matter anyway. And then hopefully this attic keeps going. Now this one looks gated too. Definitely got to be wary of rattlesnakes. It's a little late in the season, but you never know. Yeah, so this one's gated too. But it doesn't even matter because that just faces within about 20 feet. All right, well, we're really not missing much. But uh, now we'll head up to the main mine. All right, so now I'm in the wash a little downhill from the cabin. And right here we got this pretty old and beat up pickup truck. It looks like this was one of their dump sites. There's just a whole bunch of metal debris strewn about this hill. Let's go check out this truck. As you can see, it's riddled in bullet holes. And since it's in the wash, there's quite a few rocks in the bed. Yeah, let's check out the inside. Of course, missing the windows. Let's see, we got the steering wheel, the seat cushion springs. Footwells are surprisingly not that rusted, and there's even a mat still there. Wow. And then on that other side, I still got the window roller and door handle. Almost looks like there's a emblem right there. Looks like a W or something. And then 
We got the fuel gauge right here. That says fuel. That's a zero to 50. Not sure what gauge that was. That's pretty, pretty cool find right here. I highly doubt the engine or transmission or anything is left in here. I don't see anything under the hood. But yeah, this might actually be a, a Jeep Willys. Maybe that's what the W was. It kind of does got that look to it. Maybe from the 1940s or 50s. Still got the tray for the battery, some of the wiring. Uh, really not much left inside up here. Got where the hood would have closed. Yeah, it's a pretty cool truck. That might actually be a Willys truck, considering there was that W. That's a pretty nice door. Here's a look at this side. Oh yeah, look at that. Got a pretty cool blue enamelware plate. But that's from the same era. Probably from the 30s or 40s. There's a whole bunch of cans and stuff. It'd be cool to find a whole bottle up in there. I do see some glass right there. But yeah, pretty cool truck. Uh, I might head down a little bit further down the wash uh, I already see s s way more stuff looks like a bed spring right there to the right bunch of barrels all sorts of crazy stuff but yeah I'll have to keep heading down see if I uh, find anything else All right, guys, so you can see where the uh, ore car tracks used to be. You got a couple of cross ties right here, one right there, one right there. And then you actually got a waste rock pile right there. And uh, there's actually what looks like a pretty decent sized mine right here. Got a timbered portico. And hopefully this thing is not gated, but we'll see. Actually got an electrical box right here. So this should be a pretty good one. Oh, it is gated. Dang. Looks like this is what they would have uh, used to hang up probably their jackets or uh, helmets. Oh wow, they even got a couple of jars right here. Those aren't super old, I'm gonna guess probably 60s, but still pretty cool. Oh wow, they even got a bed frame. Imagine sleeping in here. I definitely couldn't. Wow. And then on the other side, there's even uh, some sunlight coming through here. Pretty sure that's just erosion that's happened over the years. But yeah, there's actually a little gap right in between these bars, and I'm a pretty skinny guy, so, oh, and there's a rail, wow, I definitely want to try to get in here, because that looks awesome, alright, let's, uh, let's try to squeeze in there, alright, so there's looking back towards the gate and portal, and, uh, I actually fit through there and hopefully there's some really cool stuff in here. Just look at that rail. I bet this is going to be a good one. You can kind of see that there was a definitely a fire back in the day. Yeah, super excited about this one. Who knows the last time someone has been inside this mine. Yeah, this thing, I bet this thing's gonna be extensive, considering it's got a rail, 
for that electrical box. So it definitely had like lighting and all that. Super stoked. Got our first stool. Little stoked out section here. Oh, and you can see that beautiful two foot quartz vein right there. That's a big one. Oh man, they're definitely getting some good gold out of here. Yeah, so that thing continues to the left. Looks like there's a little pocket to the right. Actually, it looks like this connects back. Our first ore shoot. Oh, and even a man way off to the right. Oh man, that continues up. And I feel decent airflow right here in this section. That actually looks like it goes up at least two or three platforms. So I definitely want to hit that up on the way back, but let's try to finish this level. Super excited about this one. Like I said, who knows the last time somebody has been inside this mine. Wow, looks like there's a fridge right here. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on. Okay, so it looks like this faces, but who knows how much extra passages. Holy crap, look at that quartz vein. That is huge. There has just got to be some gold right there. Wow. But yeah, there's definitely way more to this mine considering there's those, uh, upper levels so uh, let's go check out that manway all right so there's looking down to the first ladder and I'm already on this second ladder yeah there's definitely at least like one or two platforms above me yeah these are some pretty sketchy platforms But yeah, there's at least one more right there. So hopefully there's a level up there and uh, hopefully there's also some cool stuff. All right, so I'm on the third ladder right now and looking up above, there's actually an inclined shaft right there that connects to the surface and about 15 feet above me, there's another level right here. So uh, yeah, definitely a decent amount to explore. Hopefully this level is pretty extensive and then I'll see where I pop out on the surface. All right, so here's looking down to those platforms down below. There's a ladder that I just climbed up. Got this retaining wall for the ore chute. And yeah, that incline shaft's right there. It's about at an 80, 85 degree angle, so pretty steep. But yeah, we got ladder all the way up to the top. And then uh, just off this way, you actually got a stope with some pretty big stools going across. This is just, I don't even know if I could classify that as a walkway, but yeah, that right below that, that's just the ore chute. And then looking off this way, another stoked out section with some platforms where they would have worked on. And some stools. But yeah, let's uh, head up to the surface real quick. Alright, I'm on the last ladder going up to the surface. And surprisingly, even though they're exposed to the elements, they're not even uh, that rotted. 
and there's the sky. <laughs> Beautiful sight. I really wonder where this will pop up. Obviously a little bit higher up on the mountain, but like I wonder Oh, interesting. It looks like they were kind of just going along there thinking of doing like an open stope, but they were just making a cut right along this vein. Oh. Alright, let me go up this one last rung. Nice. Yeah, it definitely looks like there might actually be an open stope right there. Looks like I see an opening. Oh yeah. So where I started was right down there. Here's a look at the shaft. You can actually see that this is part of the trap door. It's still got the two hinges. Huh, that's awesome. Yeah, it wasn't too big of a mine, but pretty damn cool all those stopes and ladders and platforms all that stuff all right so i might head a little bit higher here just take a look at what i think is an open stope which might connect to more workings yeah it looks like an, a stope that got filled in Like that just ends right there. And you got a piece of uh, dynamite box siding. That's cool. Oh wow, actually, veers left a little. I don't really think it's gonna go too far. Yeah, it looks like it just ends here. All right, that was pretty cool. Hopefully we could find more, more workings on this mountain. All right, so just a little bit higher up the mountain, I came across some rail. And if you follow the rail, that will lead you to hopefully another portal. Looks like there used to be two, but this one just got washed out. Yeah, you can see where the hole is. Maybe like eight inches of clearance right there, so I can't even stick my head in there really. And then this one's pretty damn short. So let's take a quick look. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just collapsed within about 10 feet, so. All right, let's continue, see if we can find more. So I hiked a little further up and right here, we got a cut portion off of the bed of a pickup. That's a pretty cool find. Probably dates to the 40s or 50s, I'll guess. And then right over here, we got a bunch of portions of rail. go off the edge right here and we actually got two mine entrances unfortunately both of them are gated but that added right there actually got a cut in the gate so maybe we'll get into that one yeah right here we got an incline shaft that goes down at about a 50 degree angle or so and there's looking down into it there's definitely some ladder right there to the left of the uh, skip car tracks or skip bucket tracks. But yeah, unfortunately can't get into this one. But maybe we could squeeze our way into this one. Now this one's actually concrete lined. And that would be really cool if this one connected to that other one. All 
All right, there's a look back at the gate. And let's check this one out. It definitely looks like there are some uh, lower levels that connect to this one. There's actually a ladder right here, but looks like that one just ends. That's all collapsed right there. Wow, and we actually got some rail going down at a decline slope. Yeah, this is a interesting maze. They weren't really sure how to go about mining this one. Yeah, got a little pocket right there that just ends. It looks like, looks like, ooh, there might actually be a ladder up there, but not sure how I would get up there. That just ends. Looks like this one just ends as well. Yep. Now it might go around to the right right here. Huh. Okay, it actually looks like I found another level. Oh wow, looks like we even pick up some track. Yeah, look at that, we got track right here. And then this leads to the outside. Oh. Interesting. This must have been on the other side of that other one. On the other side of the hill. Alright, well, uh, I'll head back and try to see if uh, the rail continues. Alright, so here's a turn to the right. Kind of looked like it did just end, but one way to find out. Yeah, that pretty much ended right there. Okay, uh, so I might try to get up to that one ladder in that other section, but we'll see if I could even get up there. Alright, so there's looking down, and there's a gated portal that I came through at first. So I just climbed up this stole, and there was a ladder, but you're just working this little pocket, so that doesn't lead anywhere. So I'm going to head outside and see if there's any more mines to check out. Alright, so now we're looking at the upper mine site. And uh, right off the get-go, I can see a metal head frame up there. Probably dating to around the 1950s or 60s. And then right here in front of me, we got a wooden ore chute. Right above it, we actually got a wooden trestle. Yeah, this is a one shoot, four shoot. Quite stunning and dramatic landscape up here. I probably walked around a mile, mile and a half to get up here. And right here, we actually got some rail. Huh. And right here we got a spool. I wonder if this was like a hoist, probably an engine right there at the end of that metal frame. Interesting. Yeah, right here we got rail. Ooh, it's windy rail leading to this uh, wooden trestle. Alright. So 
So let's check out that metal head frame. So I wonder where this rail would have led to. It looks like, what the heck? Kind of looks like there might be a portal that goes under the mining road, which I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Oh yeah, there is. But, oh man, unfortunately, that's gated. Let's turn my light on. Oh, that's a shame. Would have loved to see that. That's crazy, it's literally under the mining road. I've never seen that before. All right. Yeah, let's go check out that. Looks like almost a 40 foot metal head frame. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look like I could have gotten my Jeep up here. Look at how washed this road is. Stunning, this is awesome. And you can see right next to the head frame we got wood cribbing to support it. And so it doesn't wash away right here. look at that you can see that it's got wooden frames up against the side of the hill right here <sighs> but unfortunately looks like this one is gated let's see if it goes down any distance oh yeah definitely looks like it at least goes down a good hundred feet and it actually looks like there's multiple platforms on this left side. Interesting. Okay, well, pretty cool just seeing it up close. That is just beautiful. With that backdrop, mountains in the sky. It's just a beautiful day for this. I'm loving every second of it. There's a look down at that uh, other wooden trestle and it actually looks like there's another collared shaft right there, but that one is also gated, unfortunately. And really that's about it. There's not much else up here. Looks like there might have been a structure at one time, but looks like it burned. But yeah, I'll leave you guys with this uh, epic view of this metal head frame. Um, I actually got a decent amount of uh, underground time, so definitely happy about that. Um, and then obviously the, uh, the outside infrastructure, including all the trestles and uh, or shoot this metal head frame and of course the cabins um, those were super awesome to see and check out but uh, that's the end of this video I really hope you guys enjoyed this one uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and uh, thank you for watching